And here we are, Xeno Saga Episode 1, De Wills are Mocked. Now, this goes really by, by really quick to the logos again, so let's just start a new game. I've seen the opening before, testing the disc a while back, so it's not really new. 20XX80, Lake Turkana, Kenya. But I never got further than that, really. Just kind of looked at the gameplay a while back when I first got it, like two years ago. But other than that, you know. Anyways, I decided to start this now. This is going to be a long one, I bet. It boasts 80 hours of game, over 80 hours of gameplay, apparently. I think it's estimated to be like maybe 25 hours of cutscenes, though. So prepare for another like 80 part game. Minimum. The ground there is hard, so be careful when you dig. Yes, sir. Doctor! Hey, look, real Dr. people. Masuda. What is it? Did you find something? Yeah. We followed the corridor from the lakeside. It matches the location described in the that research must be paper. It. Good. Show us where it is. Bit of awkward animation trying to do real looking people. It's different from the others. I knew it! It's over there. Hmm. This must be... I know this game has some loose connections to Xenogears. But I'm, I, like they take place within like the same world. Well, it's hard to explain. This takes, I think, place thousands of years before Xenogears. I think. It's something, all right. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be the Zohar modifier. I believe that makes an appearance in here. If you don't know what that is, well, you need to play Xenogears. That light. Four thousand years later, suddenly, all the software ink production. I'm kind of excited for this. I like anything Xeno these days. Xeno Saga Episode One: 
their wills are mocked. I know, I'm not saying it properly. We have prior connection system, enter systems, connection target cosmos. I've heard this game series can be a mess though. Like the first one's decent, second one's crap, and third one's like good. Also, it was supposed to be, I think, uh, seven games originally planned. Only three came out. So, 4,000 years of human development has turned everyone into an anime character. If only I could live for 4,000 years in the future. I'm kidding. I wish I had something to say right now, but... Uh, yeah. Commencing startup experiment. Open up an interconnection. Roger. Opening interconnection. Connecting with dummy protocol. A line protocol zone secured. Opening cage partition. 60 seconds to release. Beginning countdown. 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51. Second production designers. They weren't good enough to be first production designers. You know what? I forget exactly what Zo the Zohar modifier looks like. It's been quite a while since I've even seen anything Xenogears related. temporal lobe. What's the problem? It's on the left side of the temporal lobe. I'm showing slight stimulation of the synapses in section 818. It's within permissible bounds, though. Do you want to abort? No. Let's keep going. Just stick to the menu. I'll try for a direct approach. Back me up. Roger. Launching Nataraja connection system. I'm familiar with some of the ideas in this game, I just don't know the entirety of it. But, I mean, I'm st still, I'm still roughly, you know, I'm still ignorant of what's exactly gonna happen, you know, and... I just have vague ideas all, only... I hate to describe it like that, though. Password accepted. Commencing Nataraja boot up sequence. Like one concept I'm familiar with is that people hate Shion, the the woman who was sitting in the chair. Damn, Adam, static. There seems to be a problem with the visual field connection. Hmm. Ah, I see a small break in the MT field, route K12. It looks like the bi-directional link in the V4 field is lagged too. Hold on a minute. I'll fix it now. How is it now, Chief? Okay. 
Looks good. Let's keep going. Roger. Proceeding with Cosmos host separation. Morning, Cosmos. How do you feel? Good morning, Xi'an. All systems are normal. Well, how about introducing yourself? I am an anti-gnosis humanoid fighting system, serial number 00000000001. Development name, KPX. Abbreviated name, Cosmos. As I am currently configured for simulated battle, my output is limited to 22% of its normal capacity. My estimated weapon specifications are... All right, that's good enough. Thanks. You are welcome. All I have for you today are the usual startup tests. Sorry to wake you up just for that. You'll have to go back to sleep once everything's checked out. I see. Do you feel sad or anything? A predetermined set of emotions has been hard-coded into my emotion module to better facilitate interactions with humans. In order to better facilitate a relationship with you, Chief Engineer Shion Uzuki of the Cosmos Project, Vector Industries' first R&D division, I will emit an expression such as sadness only when that response is deemed necessary. However, the emotion module of my program has determined that this is not necessary at this time. <laughs> I guess you're right. I, of all people, should know that. Your understanding is appreciated. But you know, Cosmos, I've got mixed feelings about all this. Of course, I'm happy that you're awake, but the fact that you'll go back to sleep makes me a bit sad. On the other hand, the next time you wake up, it may be a time of much bloodshed. So deep down inside, I hope that day never comes. Understand? The algorithms I have been programmed with do not support the comprehension of illogical human thought. Well, I hope you'll be able to understand someday. I will do my best. All right, Cosmos, shall we get started? Alan. Let's pick up from process 277, where we last left off. Roger. Placing target drones in the Encephalon. The drones are set to random movement and enemy ambush. How about a test run before the mission, Chief? Hmm. Sure, let's do that. Did you get that, Cosmos? Affirmative. I believe they start a little bit of a tutorial phase. Virtual tutorial. During quests, you'll trigger a battle when you come in contact with an enemy. Here, you'll need to talk to Cosmos, select from the menu, then approach the soldier to start the battle. <clears throat> Alright, I can move around, obviously. Talking is a uh, circle. Target input complete. Normal attack. Let's see, we got normal attacks. The battle program has been set. Entering battle mode. Please approach the target. Okay. Cosmos, let's go. All right. Let's see. Normal attack. The leftmost character in the group turn window at the bottom right corner of the screen will get to go first. The character next to the leftmost character will follow thereafter. If the order is reshuffled once the character icons disappear from the GWD. Characters are, that are not displayed in the GTW, I have to call it GWT, GTW cannot make a move until the character order is rearranged. Press left to right on directional pad to select the target and press square or triangle to perform a normal attack. There are three types of enemies, B, M, and G. During the selection, target selection, they are marked as B, M, and G. Two AP is for each normal attack. Since you are given four AP each turn, you can perform up to two normal attacks. Really? Normal attacks have... Knuckle, Firecracker, and Menu. What's in my menu? Ether. There's no Ether. Oh, I can't have. 
Alright, so let's see. What do we have here? Try to see what they type they are. Well, let's just try a knuckle. Power kick. Critical, apparently. As the basic rule, square is the physical type attack, while triangle is an ether type attack. Descriptors of ether type attacks are displayed in red. So, blaster is triangle, which is an ether type attack. BG, AP, so no AP left. So, now Cosmos will go with her punch, let's say. And then she can use her sword. Looks like there's combos in this game. Yeah, it looks like we get combos in battle. And she reappears. Oh yeah, Cheap. I almost forgot to mention about the body flashing phenomenon. After battle, you'll flash for a few seconds. During this time, you won't trigger a new battle, even if you come in contact with an enemy. Remember this, okay? Well, that's nice to have. Uh, Cosmos? Let us try... Tech? Cover us and set... Alright. Let's look at tech attacks then. It's definitely a tutorial and I'm gonna follow Target it. Locked on. Commencing combat mode. Tech attacks. Six AP required to perform a tech attack. If you only attack once and use X to end the turn, two AP are carried over to the next turn. Guarding is another effective method. Because you are given four AP each turn, they are added to the two carried over for a total of six SP. AP, I mean. So that means we can do... See, change and boost. So let's say we just do a fire, and then we end it. Beat this enemy with a tech attack. If you only attack once, then you use X to end each turn. Two AP are carried over to the next one. Guardians never effective method. Okay, yeah, that's what she told me. So right now she has two AP she on. Uh, I don't really know how to guard. I have L1 and L2. That's change, and then the one is the boost. So if we go to menu. Oh, here we go. I was like, there's nothing here. So let's guard. You can now perform a tech attack with 6 AP. Specific commands must be entered in order to perform a tech attack. Tech attacks for Xion are those so far. Square, square, circle, triangle, triangle, circle. And then... Do I have to just... Do I just use it? Or do I have to... Let's see, it's got a menu. I guess... Okay, I see, I just do the attack. Alright. Tech attack for Cosmos. Hmm. Has just circle too. So square, square, circle, triangle, triangle, circle. Let's try cannon. I'll use some ether on it, but warning: the sub attacks performed by pressing circle can only be used a set number of times per battle. Check to see if it can be used by looking at the panel to the right of the button display panel. The contents are ammo, EP consumed, ammo, EP consumed, required AP. The attack can only be used when all requirements are met. So we have ammo, EP consumed and AP. So we have 12 ammo, EP is consumed as 0, and AP is 6 required. So let's try cannon. They seem strong. A bit overkill, don't you think? Exterminated. All right then. No items, but this is only training. At best, they might give me some experience. Changing targets, sub menus. Then we have switch to real combat. Whatever has a set. I might as well go through the. Oops! I talked to, to Cosmos again. 
Might as well go through the tutorial to understand the battle system properly. All battle systems are go. Granted, I could probably figure it out myself this one. Okay, sub menu, ether, items, three AP consumed. A W item. Six items required to use the W item. Place this cursor over an item and press triangle select. That will have an effect on the entire group. Two items will be used. However, so W item will only work if you have at least two of the same item. Change positions during battle. Possible ways to attack and amount of damage received change depending on location. Enters the assigned HEWS. Characters who are not assigned to an HEWS cannot use this command. And guard. Escape commands do not exist in this game. You must either use an escape pack or Shion's goodbye in order to escape from battle. Aha! Uh -huh. Well then... I guess this is now going to be free range here. Boost. Boost gauge rises whenever a normal or attack attack successfully hits. When this gauge fails all the way, the boost counter goes up by one. Because it is difficult to raise the count in this battle, we will set the boost counter at two. In order to use boost, the character must have at least one boost count and must not be displayed in the GTW in the lowest right corner of the screen. Lowest right corner. So, uh, Cosmos is there, but not Xion. Boostable characters are displayed when you press either the R1 or R2 buttons. Characters without boost will not be displayed. So, we can boost. The display characters are assigned to square, triangle, and circle starting from the left. By pressing the associate buttons, you can have the character cut in front and perform a move right after the current character's move finishes. Moreover, it is possible to boost during the enemy's attack by pressing either R1 or R2. You will come after the enemy's turn and finishes. So... Boost? Nah. I don't really get boost just yet. So let's do a... Punch. Look, there's a slot machine thing going. Small, small slot to the left changes the following order with each turn. Attack up, something up, and something else up. This is the event slot. Mm hmm. Affect the slot icons. Critical hit rate up, increase the chance of a critical. No, with this icon feature in the enemy's turn, their chance of critical increases. Boost gauge rate up. Because it's easy to raise the boost gauge. Special points up. Earn more special points. Earn special points. Points can be earned by defeating enemies. By utilizing the special points, players can increase and evolve the character's abilities beyond their normal level ups. Eat, eat points. Ether points. Use the points to evolve ether spells or transfer spells to other characters. Skill points. Draw out skills from, the from accessories. Teeth, tech points. Change the character's basic parameters. Aha. Uh -huh. Still don't get the boost thing. Well, uh, either way. I'm looking at the boost here. I'm not really sure yet. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what the boost is yet. seen an enemy attack yet, but that might be because, you know, I guess I just, My is down 5%. what, you need to be cleaned? That was weird. Anyways, I, I was about to say, actually, um, I'm assuming because this is only a simulation, they're not going to attack, but once I go into... Uh, switch to real combat. Alright, let's go. How about saving in this game? So now we're probably going to go back to that other area. There you go, the first 25 minutes was basically tutorial. But what do you expect? I need to learn. Oh boy.
we're getting some real combat experience in, I guess. Which means they are going to Your attack. Orders, Xion? Actual battle. From now on, the enemies will attack. Keep your eye on the attack order to avoid taking unnecessary damage. Defeat the enemy on the right first, as it can attack everyone at once. Because the enemy in the middle has high HP, it is a good idea to defeat it using tech attacks. The enemies are separated into three types. Some attacks are effective against certain types, so study the descriptions of each attack. The following icons appear in the GTW. Biotech, Mech Tech, and Gnosis type. So we do you. And then we do... You. So we get rid of that guy first. And then energy bullet critical her. Of course, now we can use uh, that attack attack on this thing. Same thing with Xion, but maybe I would use this instead. Yeah, it looks more effective. Yeah, Ether attacks are probably more effective on these robots. Yep, that's what I figured. You went twice, and you critical. Alright, let's see. We have... HP went down a little bit, obviously. Now, there's no boost on anyone currently. Let's just use the normal attack. That'll get rid of him. I don't know who that is, so it means nothing to me. No items. And that's my first actual battle experience. Now wait for it to load. All processes to 300 cleared. Chief, the data transfer is going smoothly. The A-line protocol is looking good. It sure is. The response levels are really good. If we can maintain these levels, we'll have some great results soon. Yeah. Chief? Hey, Alan. Let's skip all 300 level processes and start from 400. Huh? 400? Chief, but that's... I feel pretty confident this time. But, Chief, remember what happened last time? Had we waited ten more seconds to intervene, we wouldn't have been able to get you back at all. Can't we at least test it out in objective mode? You know we can't get precise data that way. I'll be fine. If something happens, I'll get myself out. Besides, you want to test it out as well, don't you? We spent all night building the native A-line protocol. Well, yeah, but... That settles it. Let's get started. All right, then. But if anything happens, I'm gonna shut it down from here. So don't press your luck. All right, all right. And don't deviate from the program. Okay, Mom. Jeez, this is so typical of her. Will she ever stop to think about the hell I go through for her? You know, sir, the way you worry about Chief Uzuki all the time. I'm surprised you haven't keeled over already. Uh, hey, that's enough. Is the 400 level program ready to go? We're ready to go anytime. Then start up the program. I want detailed reports from every monitoring station. Any abnormalities, and I'm shutting down immediately. It's all techno babble. Cosmos, I'll explain a bit about this place. This place is an imaginary space constructed within the network. It's walled off some ruins from early 2000 AD. The mission is to fight the main target within the dilapidated building. The target is marked with the red vortex vector box. I mean, there are objects in here that can be detonated. Some are effective if you set them off near the enemy. Use them to your advantage. Now then, let's start the mission. Please explain destroyable objects. 
There are many destroyable objects in the map. When you're in range of blue tar a blue cur target cursor will appear. Shoot them using the square button. If there are several destroyable objects grouped together, use the L1 R1 buttons to highlight in blue the one to destroy, then shoot it. Alright. I guess I understand. Alright. Pause. Main menu. Click A G W S. Then we have game options. Sound output, okay. Vibration on, okay. Just the games. Pro oh, that's not useless. Okay, of course it's gonna be on. Alright, oh. seems good. Access to U Unis Mundus network. What the fudge is that? Mail. Aha. Uh -huh. Plugin module. View the plugins currently equipped. When the game seems difficult, vector first R&D division. Aha. Uh -huh. Try straightening your tech attacks. Okay. Oh, I don't feel like reading this right now. Equipping characters, equipping AGWS. Okay. What's plugins, though? Mail. Pl oh, I see. Nothing special. Uh, battle formation. I mean, I only have two characters currently. We have characters here where I can equip them, apparently. She has uniform on. Nothing else I can really do. Is there armor for arms? Physical defense plus two. Place enemy HP information. Well, I'm never going to get rid of that. And what else? We got skills, tech attacks, either items. Okay. And that looks to be it for this menu, really. What button was that again? It was the triangle. Okay. Just making sure. Now, can I move... Doesn't look like I can move a camera or anything. Now that enemy's in range. If I go towards it, I don't think you can do back attacks, can you? Okay, here we go. Probably not. Uh, I guess we'll just use this and end it. Same thing here. I can kill him that time. Ah, critical. Yeah, because the slot machine grenade. You suck. I didn't kill him. Either because he's stronger or. I guess I'll use some ether on this thing. Alright, that one's dead. So let's use a normal punch on him. Well, I guess that should be fine. Uh, I guess I have to... Actually, I could have saved it, but I'm an idiot, aren't I? Well, he's dead for sure. Alright. Obviously, Shion's got less... Uh, HP than Cosmos. I collected some good data. Now, unfortunately, I need a way to recover, though. Med kit times two. Alright, so. Destroyable objects. Now, that probably wouldn't be good if I had approached an enemy. This seems to break barriers, too, so I can get by and look around. Go up here, actually. Aha. Uh -huh. First, open the door. I got a med kit from in there. Alright, well, that's an interesting concept, being able to break things. Alright then. Anything over here? A ladder. I am curious about save points, though, because I don't want to end up dying and, like, you know. Having to go back. Uh, okay, it's from here. Hmm. Looks like. Oh, also, there are two or more objects you can select from use. Okay, yeah. If I shoot this. 
That's not what I meant to do, though. <laughs> Absolutely not what I meant to do. Your orders, Xion? Well, we're gonna attack them for sure. Ether. What enemy or ally recovery low? Xion's gonna need it. For sure. How much ether does she have? Well. Well, at least she's recovered now. Critical him, he should be dead. Defense six. Missed her, but critical her. Well, we should be able to kill them in this turn. Got critical on him. Alright, we don't need to use a hex on these guys. See, I meant to try and select the thing inside, but I missed it. I could have killed him. She needs to be cleaned. That's weird. Alright, L. I was doing right. I see what I did wrong. No, wait. What what else is in here? Oh, uh, what's this? That's not an object? I don't know. Now I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. I want to get out of this thing. If I try to blow it up with me in there, I'm going to hurt myself, probably. I think. See? See what I would have done is I probably would have killed him that way. So I don't know what that object is, though. I thought it may have been selectable. Apparently it's not. Kind of no music going on. It's just, like, sounds. Another robot coming up. Anything here? Is there any reason to break that? Apparently not. So it looks like it's kind of like, in a way, Persona. In the sense... Warning! Uh... Let me see here. She's got 62, she's got 91. Uh, we should survive the battle, actually, I think. No, no, no. I think we can survive this battle. Yeah, we should probably survive the battle. Do you really think this is a good idea? Well, I don't know. Maybe Xion can kill this thing with her knuckle. And then I can use Cosmos to... I use. Hmm, okay, well, do I, if I use blast, do I use ether? I think. Apparently not. That's just a regular attack. Grenade. Man, this thing loves using the grenade for some reason. So what'll happen here then is she can attack this guy and kill him probably. Hmm, he's not dead. Well then. Well, we can kill this guy at least. I got booster up apparently. Going to boost though. Can use the grenade again? Holy crap! This guy's got a love of grenades. Oh well, just do this. Thirty-three out of eighty. It's an interesting battle system, I guess. If we level up there, if we level up, do we get um, uh, recovery? Uh, no, it's not that type of thing. Can I use ether? Use medica on her and her. Oh, I have eight left though, so I gotta be careful now with my ether now that I think about it. Alright, going inside. I have to find the target. Right in front of us, I can see an enemy. Again, I'm. Are you sure there's no save right now? I guess I have to find it. 
Look at my items. Med kits. No data. There's nothing in these ones, it looks like. Yeah, there is no save currently. Damn, it's one of those things right now where, like, I can't see. He is blocking my way. So I have to go battle it. Do you really think this is a good idea? I got no other choice. So right now it's Shion, of course. Let's try Stun Shock for the fun of it. Alright, we killed him. I criticaled it. Wow. Well, that was an interesting one. I criticaled him. Alright, that didn't go too bad. Oh, they're going to say the same things over and over again, aren't they? Uh, got a med kit. Ah, here it is. This should be the room. Should it? Looks like I need a mission key to open this door. Alright. What's in there, anyway? The mission objective? Freeze! Oh, nothing I can do. Remember, it's just a simulation where you can die. Alright. Hmm. I don't know. Critical up there, but I didn't kill him, unfortunately. So, I don't know. Try this sword. Shot Shion! Grenade again? Right, it looks like they are weaker now. Makes sense. I mean... Well, either way. So now Shion would have a boost. Aha, I just used it on her. Too bad! I only won the battle. My external appearance is down five percent. Chion, I need to be clean. Well, at least I learned a bit about how to use boost, which I wasted, unfortunately. There's something here. Must be what I need. I can't get it though. Wow, there wasn't anyone there. Over from this side, I think it's locked. There's something in there I need definitely. Strange. What's in here? I don't see any enemies. I s ah, that must be my save. Good. Was it a memory uh, cube? Um, the robot just came from the wall. Initiating system. Wow, I had no choice in that matter. Haha. <laughs> All battle systems are go. Oh, jeez. Well, then, that was interesting. Uh, huh, she's going first, or she's the only one going? Well, then, I guess I'll use a blaster. And I'll end it just to get a boost. With her, with this belt, it is possible to pilot an AGWS by selecting HWS in the sub menu. First, select HWS from the menu. Next, use the right left direction of uh, select the position and press the circle to call it. Your turn is over after it is called. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay then. I guess I'll use this with the Cosmos since it uh, does heavy damage.
controlling the AGWS. AGWS attack with that and that. Consume AP vary with different weapons. Furthermore, the summoning will change slightly. This is available when the same weapons are equipped with both arms. Six AP is required. Either cannot be used. This cannot be used. Change position. This will make you exit. And guard is the same. Warning, you will not be able to recover during the battle if the HWS HP reaches zero. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, let's try AP, AP4. She has zero AP on her? Or, I don't know. Oh, damn. It's a gun. Well, I killed it. The enemies have been exterminated. I'm assuming when you're facing heavy duty robots, you can use the AGWS med kit. That looked like one with an S on the end. Loading's a bit weird in this game. Status check. I don't see anything unusual. All systems are stable. It's looking good. This ought to make up for last month. I sure hope so. Cosmos has reached the checkpoint. Entering process 431. Replacing targets with Type-G drones. Commencing display. Ah, oh, great. They got bigger. Just what I needed. Checkpoint, I'm presuming that's... Chief, I've changed the settings on the target drones. The next target is key to sound, so it will only respond if you make loud noise. You can move quietly if you hold down the R2 while moving. Also, that thing behind you is a save point. If you press the blah, 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 blah. So, R2. Versus that. I see. Boom. There was nothing there. Nothing to even enter. Alright, save for the first time. No data, create data. Alright. First save. I didn't mean to do that. I like how I said at 48 minutes, so it's like very close to like when I would end it, kind of, but like at the same time, it feels a bit too early. Uh, you know what? I'll end it here because if I continue on, I'll just not be at the save point to begin with. Yeah, I'm gonna stand right next to it. So, that's it for this part of Xeno Saga, episode 1, and blah blah blah. And next time, of course, well, I'll continue through the simulation. Something's going to go wrong. We know it will. Everything always goes wrong. So long.